he's getting it now. Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Customs. Out here in the lot today, I come up with another little project vehicle, and I thought y'all get a kick out of looking at it. Uh, trying to decipher what it is. If y'all have a definitive answer, please put it down in the comments. Uh, I'm thinking it's a 48, 49, maybe a 50, maybe a 51, a uh, Ford F1. But I need to get the numbers off of it and run it and be 100%. But for what I have in this thing, I think I've done well. Let me bring the camera on in and we'll do a walk around and check this thing out a little closer. Like I say, it's definitely an F1 truck. And yeah, we can tell that. And I mean, somebody got quite creative on making that aluminum running board, didn't they? Yeah, I like creativity. There is basically, of course, I'm going to throw that crap away. There's really not a big interior in this thing. Somebody just took all the gauges and stuff out of it. Hey, we got a glove box door. Well, that's a plus. And I see we got the window cranks. I doubt that any of this stuff works. And looking down through there, there's not even a bottom to the door. Got a little bit of rust there. Uh, we need to get it cleaned out and see what, what we have to work with and how much floorboards left. Front windows busted. Uh, side, a little, uh, uh, whatever you call them, side windows there. Door windows, I mean, they're busted, but at least they're there. Uh, somebody's put all Chevrolet stuff in this thing. Got a Chevrolet frame in it. Not real big on that. But I mean, general overall, for what I got in it, I'm very happy. Uh, Annie's checking it out. Got some 20 inch wire wheels on it now. Them are a trip. Uh, just a little bit of Bondo in the front fender. Just a little. Uh, it looks like to me somebody's added these lights here. I don't think them are factory, but they look pretty old. I mean, the factory ones are right up here. Anybody knows any different, throw it down in the comments. At least we got the Ford lettering. And off in here doesn't look too bad. I mean, they've cut up the fender wells some, but they ain't totally destroyed the thing. The firewall looks good. You know, front of the roof looks good. The cow, the air conditioning there looks good. As you can see, it's a Chevrolet suspension. Well, at least it has got disc brakes on it. So not bad, not bad at all. This fender, yeah, a little bit of Bondo. Of course, that cool running board. Yeah, going to have to do a lot of work on these fenders. The doors are not super terrible. Yeah, there's another F1 emblem, glad to have that. Yeah, I didn't see a gas tank in it, but there's a filler neck. And at least it does have a bed. Now, I can work with this. The sum, that may look pretty bad to me. It's really not that big of a deal. The roof looks good. Back of the cab looks good. A little window be easy to make out of some Lexan. Yeah, like I say, the bed. Of course, there ain't no bottom to it, but that's no big deal. But I just look at the fact that I do have a bed to work with, which makes me happy. Of course, that fender, ooh, yeah, a lot of Bondo and stuff in this thing. But I mean, for what it is and for what I gave for it, not bad at all. Well, guys, there's a quick look at it and quick run around so y'all can get a general idea. Like I say, if anybody has any information y'all know a lot about these trucks or something please throw it down in the comments always happy to hear that i think it's going to be a cool project really undecided on what to do with it at this point we have several projects ahead of it uh, supposedly but uh y'all you know tell me what you think should we leave the chevrolet frame under it uh it probably had a 350 somebody put in it one time i'm assuming I mean, you can look and see them wild-looking 20s on it, so 
somebody's put some time and work and drove it around many, many years ago. Yeah, but like I say, undecided on what route to go with it, so uh, y'all give me some ideas and tell me what you think. Well, guys, appreciate you watching the video. I uh, hope you like the OF-1. I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. Like I say, throw me down some comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it. Until the next one, hope that everyone has a fantastic day.